Hello, everyone. This is Richard from Modern Health Span. Trigonaline is a potential NAD booster, which may have different benefits from the traditional NAD precursors, nicotinic acid, nicotinamide, NR, and NMN. Today, I will have a look at the data that we have for trigonaline. So we did speak with Dr. Vincenzo Sorrentino in February this year about his work with trigonaline. He has also produced a paper and we have linked to both of those above. Here is the structure of trigonaline. It is a methylated form of nicotinic acid, one of the classic NAD precursors. Trigonaline is an NAD precursor. How does it raise NAD and how does it compare to the other precursors? NAD can be made in one of three pathways, de novo, price handler, and the salvage pathway. The price handler pathway starts with nicotinic acid, then goes through a couple of steps to make NAD. Although there is no known enzyme which demethylates trigonaline to form nicotinic acid, work by Dr. Sorrentino showed that this was also the pathway taken by trigonaline when building up NAD. Meanwhile, the other precursors use the salvage pathway. NR is converted by the NRKs into NMN while nicotinamide is converted by NAMT again into NMN. In either case, NMN is then converted by NMNAT into NAD. The salvage pathway is so named because the product of the NADases that consume NAD is nicotinamide, which is then recovered by this pathway. Under normal physiological conditions, this is the main source of our NAD. One key difference between trigonulin and NMN and NR is its stability in blood. When trigonalin, NR, and NMN were placed into human serum in vitro, the NR and NMN were quickly broken down to nicotinamide while the trigonalin was stable. At time zero, they were all even. After two hours, about 25% of the NR and the NMN is gone. And after 24 hours, there is effectively none left, whereas most of the trigonalin is still present. Does trigonaline raise NAD levels in tissues? This graph comes from an in vivo test on mice, showing that NAD was raised significantly in the blood and the liver after two hours, and in the gastrocnemius after 24 hours. The gastrocnemius is a leg muscle, so this is showing NAD raised in muscle tissue, which NMN and NR are less effective at. What was the physiological effects of the trigonaline there was no impact on lean mass or muscle mass, but there was an increase in grip strength and a reduction in fatigability of the muscle. In the test, the time it took muscle to fatigue when under continuous electrically stimulated load was measured for young, old controls and old mice supplemented with trigonalin. Trigonalin prevented approximately 50% of the age-related decline. In terms of the mechanism for how trigonalin is working, it seemed to improve mitochondrial function, though it did not increase the number of mitochondria. Mitochondria generate ATP through a process called oxidative phosphorylation that uses four proteins called complex one to four. This is the main source of energy in the body. They found that trigonalin increased the expression of complex one and two, and so drove higher throughput and increased ATP production. Stepping away from muscles, there was a human trial with trigonalin where it was being tested with coffee and chlorogenic acid to see if there was any impact on glucose tolerance. Coffee consumption reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. I was not aware of this, but think that it's great news if, like me, you're a coffee drinker. The study was a randomized placebo-controlled crossover trial comparing 12 grams of coffee, 1 gram of chlorogenic acid, and 500 milligrams of trigonaline. The participants were 15 overweight men. What they saw was that trigonaline and chlorogenic acid reduced glucose and insulin in the first 15 minutes, though they did not reduce the total area under the curve in an oral glucose tolerance test. As a note, an OGTT is when the participant is given a drink with glucose and the glucose levels in the blood are measured at times afterwards with the aim of seeing how long it takes for the glucose to be cleared. It does not say here, but the coffee on its own did not lower the glucose in the same way. 
And one final potential benefit. In this case, it is a mouse study of Alzheimer's disease, which showed that trigonalin made it into the brain and improved memory function. Following oral administration of trigonalin, the molecule was detected in the central nervous system and the brain. There was also improvements in the mouse memory performance in object recognition and location. This is a mouse study, but it does show that trigonalin can enter the brain and may improve memory in Alzheimer's disease. One last point, which I covered in my previous video, but just for completeness. Trigonalin is chemically very similar to nicotinic acid, which has the side effect of causing flushing. Trigonalin does not activate the receptor which is responsible for flushing, the NA does, so this should not have the same effect in humans. So if you want to try trigonalin, where can you get it? Trigonalin is present in a number of sources, but the ones with the highest concentration are coffee beans at 6,000 to 13,000 parts per million and fenugreek at 1,300 parts per million. I went into the calculations of what this would mean in my previous video, but in summary, one cup of coffee contains 40 to 70 milligrams of trigonalin. This comes from another paper rather than my own calculations, and so should be correct. There are capsules with fenugreek, and a common size for this that I saw was 500 milligrams. My calculation, based on a paper which talked about trigonalin yields in fenugreek seeds, is that this would contain about 1.3 milligrams. Neither of these will be close to the 500 milligrams that was used in the one human trial that I could find. In my previous video, I also looked at converting from the mouse trials to human. However, Renew by Science has just released a trigonalin supplement. It may not be easy to see on this image, but the dosage is 250 milligrams in a capsule, and they are recommending one capsule per serving. This would certainly get closer to the 500 milligrams than the other sources. If you would like to try trigonalin, it is available to order now and will ship on Monday, June the 17th. Up until June 24, you can get a 15% discount with modern health span code MHSTRIG15. Trigonalin seems interesting, and it's nice to see a straight supplement available rather than calculating based on food sources, which would probably be less exact. Thank you for your attention, and I wish you all well.